Tristan Roberts here at Full Milk Farm with reviewing the Intelligent Gardener Growing Nutrient Dense Food by Steve Solomon with Erica Reinheimer. Um, if there's one book I most often recommend to homesteaders or farmers who grow their own vegetables, and especially if you grow or are seeking to grow a large percentage, um, let's say 50 or more percent of the nutrients, vegetable nutrients you're eating, if you're growing that much on your own land in your own soil, then uh, it's especially important to really think about the nutritional content of your food. Um, in this book, and there's a couple other books by the same author, really explore that concept and focus on mineralizing your garden soil and doing it with all the trace minerals and nutrients that it takes to nourish crops and make them truly healthy. Yield, key, key concept of this book, um, as I remember it, and I haven't picked this book up in a couple of years. It's just been, um, I use the advice, but I haven't referred to the book. So this is one of those reviews where I'm telling you how it shaped me and it's um, what I've retained from it. Uh, key thing that I retained from it is that you shouldn't think about yield and nutrition as the same thing. If you think of a big head of iceberg lettuce as no nutritional content, um, then it's clear that, that modern farms and agriculture is generally optimized to get the most yield from our gardens, from our vegetables, uh, but that is not the same as getting nutritional value. Uh, healthy, perfectly healthy, marketable vegetables, even with a lot of spoilage, can come from soils that are not particularly uh, mineralized. So the focus of this book is bringing your soils up to a level of um, having all the trace nutrients and minerals that they need, as well as, and there's a lot of interplay between pH um, and some of the different sources of sulfur um, and magnesium. And it gets very technical. You can get very technical with it. This book makes it approachable. Um, so you don't have to dive in fully and become a chemi soil chemist to know what you're doing. It gives you an understanding of what you're doing and you can refer to the guidance in the book there's an online uh, website with a calculator that helps do some of that work for you to make it even easier. Um, so I recommend this highly if you're growing a lot of your own food and you want to think about it being um, not only yielding well, but giving you the nutrition that you want. Um, one more thing I want to say. There's some things I, you know, Soil fertility, mineralization, this is a complex um, topic. I will just say I am not an expert in it. There may be, I think this book takes one approach. There are different schools of thought around this. So don't just take it from me or this single book, but I think there's a lot of content in here that whatever your expertise level, you will get value out of it and you'll look differently at your soil the next time you're putting seeds in it that you're gonna eat food from. Thank you. This is the book. <laughs>